And now, Rob on the Road, exploring Northern California. Nimbus Fish Hatchery, a place where you can see the cycle of life. Here, nature and science work together to help Chinook salmon and steelhead trout thrive. Nimbus Fish Hatchery was established in 1958 to mitigate the impacts of Folsom and Nimbus dams on Chinook salmon and steelhead populations in the American River. Since then, millions of fish have navigated the fish ladder to the hatchery to spawn and their eggs incubated for release back into the river. We are inside the awesome and experiential Nimbus Fish Hatchery Visitor Center with Laura Draft. Good to see you, Laura. You too. Nice to be here. We're glad you're here. Every fall of every year, you hear it's salmon time, it's salmon time, and the eggs being gathered. Mm -hmm. Just, I know it's a lot of information, but sort of take me on the salmon story. Sure, so salmon are born in the river or here at the hatchery in the freshwater. Um, they only stay here for a few months and then they start to make their way out to the ocean. And that's where they'll spend the majority of their life. And for our salmon, they tend to just go up and down the California coastline uh, for about three or four years on average. Then some switch flips in their head and they're ready to come back and spawn, which is lay their eggs. So they'll turn around, they'll come back under the Golden Gate Bridge, back up through the Delta, through the Sacramento River, find the American River, and they actually come back to the same river that they were born in. Instinctively swimming upstream, the salmon will eventually reach the hatchery's weir, where they're led up through the fish ladder into special holding ponds. And then we will go through those fish and check to make sure that they are ready to lay their eggs. You feel the belly of the fish and if eggs start coming out. Really coming out. Literally, they will expel eggs immediately when you feel the belly. Um, so those fish are ready to, to spawn. And we're able to then get those eggs out and start raising the next generation quickly and safely. So we're going to go downstairs to where the eggs are being incubated. Okay. Basically, once they've been rinsed off and they're fertilized, they're growing, they're going to be put into these tanks, oh so my into gosh. these jars. It's so full. That whole tank is full. Yes. So we're going to put the eggs in here from a lot of different fish, about 70,000 eggs in each jar. And each jar has water, American River water, upwelling from the bottom, spilling out the top so that they've got a constant circulation of water moving over them, keeping oxygen flowing over them so that they can incubate and grow. We actually have a very high success rate in hatching our eggs. So if you've got 70,000 eggs in here, we're gonna get probably at least 60,000 of those to hatch. Wow, wow, yeah. that's amazing. It really is. Fantastic, how long will they be in here? For them to hatch out takes about six to eight weeks, depending on water temperature and conditions. After about four months being raised indoors, the baby salmon are moved into the hatchery raceways. The salmon only stay in the raceways for a couple of months, and then they are at about six months old. They're ready to start migrating out to the ocean, and that's when we'll put them back into the river. As you soar above this amazing place, you see gorgeous, gorgeous rushing waters. You see the dam. You can see fish in clear water. And that really helps explain everybody's importance and role in nature. Because you see how it all weaves together. Mm -hmm. It's wild. Yeah, our job is to make sure that these animals survive and that we provide the habitat and the conditions that will allow them to survive into the future. And we're always refining what we do. We're always trying to improve our methods, our methodology, our research behind it. We want to make sure that we're using the best science at all times, but it's always with that goal of, of sustaining these resources for the people of California. The American River is as foundational to Sacramento as anything. And we are not far from the gold discovery site right here. 
That's fascinating. It is, and I mean, the gold rush had a huge impact on not only the Sacramento region and the founding of Sacramento, but also on this river and on the, the creatures that live here and why we want to um, incorporate our history, uh, both our natural history and our cultural history into our understanding of, of what makes Sacramento, Sacramento. So the ripple effects here are big and they're fun. <laughs> There's an exciting experience waiting for you right here at the fish hatchery. And there's so much to do, and it's experiential. It's hands-on, it's interactive. As I look around this visitor center, I see fish staring at me. <laughs> and it's really, really cool. Um, this is an interactive room. This is a salmon egg development uh, display. It walks you through it, and then you walk right outside, and it's real life. Mm -hmm. You don't see that very much. Yeah, well, our goal here is to kind of take people through the experience of the salmon. So when you enter our visitor center, it's as if you're coming out of the ocean and you move into the river, and we've got some of the habitat, the predators, the kind of things that the, the salmon would experience. So you can kind of imagine yourself in their world here for a little bit. You're just minutes from the highway, from downtown Sacramento. There's this huge annual migration of wildlife, and you can get within a few feet of these wild animals and watch them doing their thing. They're doing what salmon do, and you get to, to experience it up close. That's cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. When it comes to the joy that you get to see uh, as people feed the fish and then discoveries happen, the annual event of the fall salmon, tell me what you see. Oh, well, when the salmon ladder opens for the first time at the beginning of November, we're going to let those fish start entering the fish ladder. They've already been here in the river for a month or two, biding their time, waiting for the water to get cold. School children are starting to come out. Um, the crowds are starting to gather along the fish ladder to watch these fish come home. And it's just so exciting. It really is. And you see it on the kids' faces. Just, this is exciting. This is real life. You know, it's not a virtual experience. It's not... You don't need to plug into anything. You can just come and see this happen right in front of you. That's very cool. I have to say that it is impossible to be around you and not be amazed <laughs> because you're incredible. So thank you, Laura. I appreciate oh, it. Pleasure. What a joy thank you. to be here with Laura Draft at the Nimbus Fish Hatchery. You gotta check it out. It is super cool and experiences await you.